Welcome back to Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. And while we've been at home, maybe you've been looking around and noticing your floors could use a good cleaning and you just don't know where to go. Well, how about going with a trusted company that's been around 70 years? I'm talking about Stanley Steamer. And we are joined by our friend Nino. You know, how you doing these days? Fantastic. Excellent, Natalie. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad to, to chat with you. And I, I first want to talk about, I, I touched on the 70 years and I was sharing with you before we got started. I remember growing up in Ohio, seeing so many advertisements of Stanley Steamer. I feel like you guys have been around so long and have withstood the, the test of time. Absolutely. So we were started back in 1947, right here in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And uh, over time, the business grew and grew, and the demand for cleaning was was tremendous across the country, and to the point now where, in addition to our location here in Tampa, we have over 300 locations coast to coast and service about 93% of the U.S. population. Well, of course, the population these days has the uh, pandemic on our minds. How has your business changed or your business model changed when it comes to serving your dedicated customers? Sure. So as soon as this pandemic hit, Natalie, we were deemed an essential business because, mm -hmm. because cleaning is so important. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that came a responsibility, obviously, to take care of both our technicians as well as our customer base. So we made a lot of changes. We um, we immediately implemented staggered start times for our technicians. Um, we implemented facial coverings right out of the gate, along with disposable gloves. Um, we were... Um, Typically a two-man crew, we went to single-man crews just to limit the uh, the amount of potential transfer. Um, we also uh, swapped out our cleaning pre-spray with a EPA-registered list and disinfectant, which is proven effective against SARS and COV-2, which are the viruses that cause COVID-19. We stopped transferring our tablets back and forth with customers um, where they would sign off on authorizations. And we disinfect our equipment between every job. There's so many little things. We also implemented an emergency paid sick leave for our technicians so that they'd never have to think about coming to work if they weren't feeling well. And uh, we take those responsibilities very seriously as an essential business. I can tell. I'm, I'm so glad you're making those changes and that you've been able to do that from the beginning since this pandemic started. But say someone is watching at home saying, you know what, I would love to get my floors clean. I would love to hire Stanley Steamer, but I'm just still a little hesitant. What advice or how would you like to maybe ease some of those concerns of people watching at home? Sure. Well, all of those things we talked about are put in place to actually protect our customers and the technicians, like I mentioned. But, you know, one of the things right now, it's it's important because obviously we've been cooped up in our homes for, for five, six weeks now. Um, the country's starting to open back up and people have been going in and out. We know that the virus does live on certain surfaces for extended periods of time. And, you know, following CDC regulations and guidance, Natalie, it calls for cleaning as the first step toward disinfecting. And a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people think that they could just spray something and it's, it's, it's disinfected. And it actually, it needs to be cleaned first and then disinfected. And, you know, the cleaning part, that's our wheelhouse. And disinfecting is now something we do and we do really well. You know, I'm so glad to hear you talk about what you're doing for your employees, too. I, I'm sure I'm not alone. I love supporting businesses that are looking out for their employees. So let's take it from a business standpoint, because I think a lot of people, maybe some small businesses, if you will, are watching this and they're wondering, hey, how can I implement some of those changes to make sure that my team is taken care of? Absolutely. It's it's something that a lot of business owners and managers are starting to think about now as we open back up. You know, those businesses have been closed or operating with skeleton crews now for quite a while. And the same guidance needs to be followed, which is cleaning before disinfecting. And just for peace of mind for your employees coming back that have been, you know, they've been quarantined, they've been at home, they're coming back into their their previous environment in the office, they want to know that it's been cleaned, it's been disinfected. And, uh, you know, I think right now, um, there's a lot of people out there that are promoting that service, and you just need to make sure you're going with somebody that really knows what they're doing, knows the cleaning and disinfecting business. Man, it's so hard to get some of those cleaning supplies, too. So just being able to call you or you know you've got the right ingredients and the right products is a win-win. Well, my last question I want to throw out there, and I know you don't have a crystal ball like any of us do, but what do you think the future holds? How would you like to see the company moving forward and, of course, you continuing to help your customers? Sure. Well, a lot of those things I mentioned earlier, as far as uh, pieces and parts that we put in place to mm -hmm. protect our customers and technicians, most of those are not going away. If anything, they're going to be enhanced because we do want that peace of mind for both technicians and customers. And I think moving forward, the business dynamic might change a little bit in the sense that I think commercially, especially, um, 
the thought of cleaning and disinfecting more regularly is going to be there. I know a lot of the people I talk to on a national basis, um, that's in fact, the, in fact what they're thinking about. I think residentially, people want to know that people coming into their home now are following those types of procedures to protect them and also do a fantastic job. I think the brand is something, to your point earlier, Natalie, being around over 70 years um, says a lot about our stability and the way we adapt to certain things. Uh, good stuff. You know, it's so great to chat with you today and Stanley Steamer. Of course, we were sharing the website on your screen so you can get in touch with them today and get your home safely cleaned. There's the information again on your screen. And Nino, despite any um, non-Buckeye eye rolls I might get right now while I've got you here, I still have to say a little OH. I, uh... I love it. Take care of yourself, okay, Nino?